know why this damn thing won't work. I click on the link, then it needs a password. It didn't say nothing about no password. Waiting room? What I gotta wait for? I'm on time because they should be too. Feels like I'm always waiting on something or somebody. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <sighs> okay, dear. Just be natural, okay? Okay. Got my camera set up, my backdrop, my mic, just in case they want to hear me sing a little. <sighs> Don't let my internet cut out like it did last time. Those recruiters, he never called me back since then. Amen. Remember what Pop says. Never let him see you sweat. If you leave now, we're gonna think you don't want her. Deserve this scholarship. You got one chance to do this. You know how many guys were in your spot and you're gonna you throw it all away? Put your game face on it. Let's get it. As student ambassadors, we are the bright and shining faces of our beloved. We stand on the shoulders of those elite ambassadors that came before us. everyone oh uh you wanted to start or yeah i did oh it's just uh i thought i was leading and wow there's more people than i thought were gonna be here really i thought there were gonna be more yeah me too <laughs> oh man um i didn't mean to say that out loud i thought i was muted oh it's okay um what's your name I'm Dear. And you? My name is Rose. Nice to meet you, Rose. Are these your colleagues? No, I don't know her, but I'm sure I will after the meeting. My name is Leo. Oh, okay. Um, so who's running this thing? I, I am. am. Oh, I didn't know you were on the school board. I'm not. I just finished my eight years in the military about to transition to college. I'm here to talk to you all about doing the same thing. Is there a student board for college or something? Oh, uh, no, I'm in high school and I'm supposed to be leading a board meeting. Yeah, that's weird. I'm supposed to be here for a songwriting workshop. <laughs> <laughs> songwriting? <laughs> yeah, songwriting. What's so funny about it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I just thought I was here to lead the youth through workable careers, not some pipe dreams. Oh, talking about songwriting. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you're one of those, uh, oh, what do you call them? Oh, aspiring artists. <laughs> yes, I am. Is there a problem? You're only a few years older than me trying to talk down to me. My career is going to continue to take me places you couldn't even dream of. Wait, so you really think that you'll just graduate and live out your dream life, huh? And what makes you think you can do all that? Your parents probably had nothing. Same with their parents and their parents before them. And you just think you can change that? You think you can break the cycle? Well, you can't because it's already been written and there's nothing you can do about it. You better learn that quick, because I didn't. And what? Tell me, since you clearly have my life mapped out to a T. And I'm talking to a brick wall. That's what. Dear, it's never going to change. They're never going to open those pearly gates. You can pull and pull all your life, but it ain't going to get you jack or squats. I pulled for so long.
I knew what I was going to do. I was going to get a degree in engineering, go to the most prestigious school in the US, Stanford University. My family, my community never had nothing but I. I was gonna have something. I was gonna put in the work, just like. Just like my mom did. I was gonna have something to show for it. I was an A, B student all of high school. I couldn't get no scholarship though, so I enrolled myself in the military. I did my time. Then I get out of there in this COVID crap pit. Seems like every time I think I get a step up, the whole game changes. Now the world relies on me. Zoom and all that. I don't got what you have. I don't got cope. I don't got a future. How come you can hold on to something? I still got nothing. How's that fair? How is that fair? What are you talking about? No future. It's not like you're some washed up old man. Why are you moaning on about a future that hasn't even happened yet? Jesus, I am so tired of other people putting their baggage on me. It's not my fault you ruined your life. And I'm not a bad person for trying to give myself a good one. Maybe the career I chose isn't the easiest, especially being a woman in the music industry. I have to work twice as hard for half the credit. So I have enough. I don't need you adding anything else to that. I came here today to get a step up. But you've made it very clear that no matter how hard I try, it won't work. Maybe it isn't realistic for me to keep going on like this. Maybe an office job or something more obtainable would be better. But I put my all into this. You know, I used to think with my whole heart that this was for me, singing. And I didn't care who had what to say about it. As long as I loved it and worked hard for it, I thought everything would be all right. Sometimes it's not like that. <laughs> Here I am, so close to a whole nother world. Finally being off on my own. And I don't know what to do. I just wanted this so bad for so long. Was I wrong? So are any of y'all the recruiter? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Um, my name is Rose. I'm from the student board. I think the other people in the meeting got the code wrong or something. Um, my school is holding a panel to improve our community and the people in it. Um, would you like to join us? Oh. That's not at all what I expected when hopping on in here. Well, Rose and everyone, I think I'm just going to go. Wait, wait, wait. You go to Sterling Canwell, don't you? Yeah. Do you? You look a little familiar. Yeah. Um, um, what's your name? Oh, I'm Red. 
you know, I think I've seen you around before. So is this what this meeting supposed to be for? Helping out our school? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, good luck. Yeah, um, I'm trying to move up to the presidential position. Um, my friend Bryce was in it before me. He left some pretty big shoes for me to fill. <sighs> he, I, but I want to continue his legacy. He wanted to improve our community and to improve the, the presence our school left on other districts. And he wanted the potential of our students to be known. And I think we deserve that. I think he deserves that. Yeah, um, I'm sure he did deserve that. What, who are you to say? What did you even know about him? Nothing, I was just trying to. I don't care what you were trying to do. You nor anyone else get to speak on his name. You don't know what he represented to this community. He was going to be great. He could have changed the world. He had so many bright ideas, so much talent and ability. He wasn't limited to just the student body. He could have gone into government. He could have changed this country into something that everyone of every race could place their pride in. He was a beacon of the future. But I guess even beacons need their person. Someone to listen to them, someone to look out for them. I, I thought that's who I was, but I guess I was wrong. I just was so caught up in school. I would have listened to him if he would have come to me. At least. I think I would have listened, but he's gone now. He's gone. And he didn't even say goodbye. Sometimes I wonder if he even thought of me. If he just stopped to think of everything he was working so hard for. If he stopped to think about how much everyone around him needed him, how much I needed him. I needed him. Now, I can't even talk to him about everything that's happening. Everything that he paved way for. He can't even see it now. He worked so hard for everyone around him and you want to say what he was insignificant he didn't do enough he did he did everything he could and now it's all gone it's all gone because of me because i didn't listen so don't you ever bring up his name again. You didn't know him. You don't get to talk about him. What do you even know about him? Just some kid on the student body you saw every once in a while. You don't care. So screw you. Screw you and everyone else. You have no idea. I'm, I'm so sorry, I... What? You what? It's not your fault he died, it's mine. What? What did... 
wait, please, just let me explain. I, Bryce had made so many promises when he was elected SGA president. One of them was that the, the football team would get more money, better equipment, more buses. Almost a year had passed, and none of that had happened. It was a stupid thing, but when I saw his post saying he made so much progress, God, something rose up in me. It was red, and, and it was hot, and, and I couldn't help it. I just left the comment. I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't think the guy would kill himself over it. I didn't know it meant so much to him. I... I didn't know. Now I have to wake up every day and I have to live with this. This weight, this, this anchor pulling down my soul. How can I live with myself knowing? <sighs> knowing that I took the life of someone else. All of his memories, his hopes and dreams, his, his kids, his grandkids, stupid Zoom classes and board meetings. I took all of that away from him. I took his essence out of this world. And now that hole, it's spreading. It, it spread in me. It's spreading in you. And probably in his mom. His poor mom. She probably wakes up every day praying that her little boy is still sound asleep. Not that he's six feet under. I did that. I'm responsible. I didn't know it meant so much. I didn't know it would hurt so much. It hurts so much <sighs> Eugene what are you what are you doing here why are you why did you just stop it I'm hearing so much loneliness in your words well look around we've all experienced pain and we're all trying to work through it but guess what it doesn't go away. It doesn't get easier. You just get to a point of understanding. Pain and heartbreak are inevitable. They are the core of what makes you human. Do any of you honestly believe you would be who you are without any of the pain you've gone through? Hey, I don't know, I wouldn't be the version of myself sitting here talking to you all. I wasn't born like this. I had to go through experience, pain, insecurity, and sadness. I had to go through things in order to get to the level I am at now. Is there a point to any of this? <laughs> now, let me tell you kids a story, okay? Um, there once was a little boy around the age of 16. If anyone saw him, they might tell you they saw innocence. One day, the boy was coming home and he saw his parents at the dinner table. Out of curiosity, he sat down and he asked them, what's wrong? His parents looked at him and they said, son, you have 10 days to learn how to be an adult before you have to leave. And I mean, the boy couldn't just say no. I mean, his parents asked him to do something. And parents always know best. Do you guys know the brain doesn't fully develop till at least 25? So why is it that this boy's parents gave him 10 days to not only fully understand himself, but also fully understand the world around him? Sounds pretty painful. It couldn't be me. Everyone feels pain. But this boy didn't choose to understand his pain. He was forced to. He had to understand pain he had never even felt before. 
We need to stop hating the bad. We must embrace it. The one and only time you are truly and utterly yourself is in times of hurt. Look, uh, let me ask all of you in this meeting. If I asked all of you what it felt like to grow up, I bet none of your answers would be honest. We must, we need to stop hating the bad. We must embrace it. The one and only time you are truly and utterly yourself is in times of hurt. Why would I understand the things that have caused me pain? This is pointless, old man. What's pointless is ignoring the pain rather than understanding it. You want me to love my pain? That's it. I'm out. Leo, just wait. Hear him out. Please? Someone once told me to live for the little things. With all this technology, Everyone's so focused on the bigger picture that nobody notices the details. With a job like mine, you learn a lot about everyone else's little things. I've seen a lot of what people throw away. Leo, you threw away your Stanford application because you were scared of change? I'm not scared of anything. That fear is based on the stories you tell yourself as if your life isn't in your control. You don't have to play a part that someone else wrote for you. Just be you. Now, Red, you threw away your letterman jacket the day you heard the news because you didn't feel you deserved to be quarterback anymore. It's crazy, isn't it? Such a small thing cost someone's life to end. Stop hurting in silence and speak your truth. It's much better to live being misunderstood and in your truth than living a lie. You don't know anything about my truth. You're just some stupid janitor. Gross. You trashed every picture you had of you and Bryce because you refused to believe it happened. It's okay to adjust your life and your goals to continue your journey in another way. Bryce will be, will be proud of you, no matter what. I wasn't invited here to get help with my life. I was invited here to help other people with theirs. So just be quiet. And dear, how could I forget about you? We've all heard that talent you have, but you threw away a song you wrote because someone else said it wasn't the right fit. Keep writing. In a few years, when you're one of them big people, it won't matter what those folks thought. Mm -mm. I threw away that song because I wanted to, not because someone else told me to. I know you all feel trapped by the pain you dealt with, but... What do you know? You clean other people's trash for a living. Pain is a burden, but you must make it a gift. What, you think I wanted to be a janitor all my life? You don't think I wanted more for myself? Life happened and obstacles came left and right. But I didn't let those obstacles define me. I decided to take control of my actions and my thoughts. Don't let your thoughts be a weapon. Don't let the pain and adversities you face convince you that you aren't good enough or smart enough or worthy of forgiveness. Laugh would be so boring if it happened exactly the way we planned it. <laughs> God always gets a good laugh when we tell him what we're going to do. Your pain 
doesn't define you. It molds you into who you're destined to be. If you just learn to move through it. You see this key ring? Got almost every type of key you can think of on here. Some of these keys actually used to work all over the school. But as time passes, you need new keys. What, you think I'm gonna put a key into a lock that doesn't work anymore? No, I'm gonna use the one that fits. Life is sort of like that. You use the key for the lock you have right now because you never know what's gonna be behind that new door. <laughs> use the keys I gave each of you. Go on and unlock the door to your new chapter. We often forget we're still writing our stories. A friend of mine actually told me the beginning and the end are already written. We just get to write what happens in the middle. It's time we open the next chapter to our new stories. My life, I has to fight. All's my life, I hard times like yeah, bad trips like yeah, Nazareth. I'm fed up, homie. You fed up, but if God got us, then we gon' be alright. Right. We gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? We gon' be alright. And when I wake up, I recognize you looking at me for the pay cut But I'ma stop be looking at you from the face down One Mac 11 even boom with the face down Skimming, and let me tell you about my life Painkillers only put me in a twilight We're pretty Benjamin is the highlight Now tell my mama I love her, but this what I like, Lord knows Twenty of them in my Chevy, tell them all to come and get me Reaping everything I sow, so my karma come in heaven No preliminary hearings on my record I'm a m get gangsta in silence for the record, uh Tell the world I knew it's too late Boys and girls, I think I've gone great Trying to side my face, it's all day Won't you please believe when I say Wouldn't you know, we've been hurt, been down before When our pride was low Looking at the world like, where do we go? And we hate poor poor Wanna kill us dead in the street for sure I'm at the preacher's door My knees getting weak and my gun might blow But we gon' be alright, alright, alright We gon' be alright